Happy Thirsty Thursday, everyone. Paul, you're a little out of frame. Get in the frame. Get in the frame. Get in the frame. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Are people on? Okay. Yeah, people are starting to get on. Okay, cool. How's everyone's Thursday? I don't know about you. This week has been a really weird combination of it's going by so slow but so fast at the same time. I haven't had slow. You haven't had slow? No, I haven't had slow. <laughs> well, it doesn't. No, uh-uh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been, it's been good so far. It's been a busy week. Well, other you. than your anger at, at the Olympics. <laughs> uh, we won't get her going on that. Uh, mm -hmm. Brief, brief version is that the climbing Olympics was forced to be in a stupid format that doesn't actually say who's the best climber in the world, but regardless, climbing is in the Olympics. So. It is a win. It's a win. This yeah. should be drinking. Olympic drinking. Olympic drinking? Dude, okay. I saw a really funny post and I want it to be real. So it's like, someone said, what if out of all the citizens of the country, they just drew a name out of the hat and that's... That's who competed in the Olympics. Oh, I'd apologize. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then, like, you also just drew for your sport. So it's like, ah, oh, Courtney, you're doing ping pong. Sounds like Hunger Games. <laughs> I know. That's, that's so funny because that's literally what I commented. I said, may the odds be ever. <laughs> yeah. No. No. And then someone was like, do you think that that would make people, like, more fit in general out of the fear that they would get picked? And I was like, N no. No way. No. Absolutely no, no way. No. I think you either have that, like, I like to be athletic gene, or you don't. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I was just listening to a podcast where a guy, granted he runs a thing that, like, it's a data, co not data collection, but, like, it scans your genes and tells you, so he may be biased, but he's basically telling you, me that your genes do, like, predetermine everything about you. And I was like, I, I don't know. And then he was like, if you're skeptical right now, that's because you have a gene that says you're skeptical. And I was like, shut up. We're back to nature versus nurture. <laughs> I was like, get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's stop talking about genes and drink. Okay. Um, this is, you guys want to know what this is? This is an Imperial IPA. Someone thinks that it's a good idea for a midday live to get a beer that's 8.7%. What would that be? I don't know. Some psychopath. <laughs> yeah, Paula comes in and says, I got an Imperial IPA for us. Well, we haven't had an Imperial. I know, we haven't. Have and I really had tried every week for us to do something a little bit different. Listen, I'm not mad about it. I'm just scared. <laughs> I'm just going to have to wake her up from her nap later today. So grab Imperial. your beers and be with us. Grab, grab your, your beers. beers. <laughs> and hopefully they're not higher percentage than ours. If you're at work. <laughs> if you're at work, hide your beers. <laughs> oh. That's full That's flavor. a noise. Mm -hmm. I can tell you something right now. I would have hated this beer if you would have brought it on as, like, the first, like, one of the introductory beers out of them. Yeah, like, this, is, this is not a... A beginner drinker beer. No, it's not. And we were just talking. I think that I've officially graduated out of the baby. I don't know anything about beer. I'm so dumb. Blah blah. blah teach me stage. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to like pretend like I know things now. It's not pretend. I've been here a year, like a little over a year and a half. Oh, time goes by fast. It does, cause I I was like, what? Yeah. Um, mm. speaking of, like, time going by fast, your son is 22. I know, my baby is 22 today. It's Zach's birthday today, so shout out to Zach. Happy birthday, Zach. And also our warehouse manager, Elise. Yes. It's her birthday as well. And, um, Katie in logistics made... Have you tried that cake yet? I've had it before. <sighs> so good. It's like this homemade cake with buttercream frosting and it's got strawberries in between the layers and like a piece of it weighs like two pounds it was heavy and it's refrigerated it's it's it should be it should be illegal i'm not even joking when i say that i think that's one of the best cakes that i've had mm -hmm. so katie mm -hmm. katie if you happen to be watching <laughs> she's working she's on the phones 
She's answering she questions. She's always on the phone. I stopped by her office and she was on the phone and I just like gave her, I pointed at the cake and gave her a thumbs up. She's like, <laughs> she's so humble about it. She is. She's a very good baker. Very, very, very good. One of my biggest pet peeves about food in general is that like they don't have the right moistness level. Like, like meat, nobody wants dry food. Yeah, especially like meat too. Like I think one of the reasons why I don't like I grew up thinking that I wasn't a huge meat eater is because the way that I would eat it is where it'd be cooked to where it's so dry. And I'm like, I don't like that. And like cake, even cake, cake's amazing, but if it's too dry, it's like, eh. yeah. And you gotta eat with ice cream. <laughs> okay, make it better. <laughs> okay, so what are we talking about today? We are beer. talking, we're about, talking beer. about beer. We're talking about beer. We're drinking beer. Mm -hmm. It's like we're a home brewing shop or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have a couple of beers uh, that they're going to be going on sale soon. Well, they are on sale right now with the code. They, that's true. That's true. Touche. So these beer kits will be going on sale, um, but also anything's on sale right now mm -hmm. uh, with the code BTS15, back to school sale. Um, I think that's like a boy band for like... Like I think there's like BTS? a BTS. Yeah, I think there's like a Korean, some sort of Korean okay. band. After Back to I, school. After I made that code, I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So BTS fifteen. Uh, it's fifteen dollars off, off any purchase over a hundred dollars at checkout. So with these types of kits, you probably need like two or three in order to reach that. A lot. A hundred dollars. Or this with your cleaner and sanitizer and some bottles. Mm hmm Or a carboy cleaner. Right. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Oh, uh, following her car weight cleaner. Mm -hmm. You know what you also could get? Do you know what I'm going to say? What? You're three prone to gas. Uh, I love that, but you don't really want that for beer. No, you don't, but... No, but I... Or, no, and you don't want a Portuguese floor corker either. <laughs> there are just certain things I think people should have. That's just not one of them for beer, though. <laughs> There's, like, people are like... So, Paulo, um, I'm new to home brewing. What do you think I should get to, uh, if, I, if I want to make beer? And she's like, well, I think, number one, you should get <laughs> a Portuguese floor corker. And they're like, a corker? And she's like, trust me, you, you just you'll love need it. it. You'll yeah. need it. It's just good as decor. It's, like, it's foldable. They're like, but I'm not corking my bottle. She's like, just get it. It's yeah, fine. but you might. What if you did a Belgian beer bottle? Right. I <laughs> See, I knew you were going to twist it around I twist somehow. It. I need to twist it. But yeah, fifteen dollars off a hundred. That's and then that automatically gets you um, qualified for free shipping. For free shipping. And really, at this point, if you get your order in um, by say like ten thirty in the morning, it ships same day. Nice. Yeah, we're shipping pretty quickly. At this I know they've we been, are. They've been ramping it. up. Yeah, yeah. Quarter three is no joke right now. Yeah. Um. Another good thing that you could do too is like plan your fall beers out. So. Or get the last of your summer beers. Like, it's up to you, right? So you could get your summer ale. You could get your saisons. Um, like a Rattler. You could get your Rattlers. Those types. Anything, like, light and refreshing, you could grab the last of them before summer ends. And yeah, but you should be of, you should be brewing your October But you should now. be brewing. Like, last weekend. So yeah. you got to do that. Yeah. And I, we have, we have what, um... True Brew Oktoberfest, Brewer's Best Oktoberfest, and we have Zombie Fest just came back in. Oh, did it come in? I think in? I okay. ordered six of them. They can't just just got here, so we have Zombie Fest as well. Cool, and we also have a. Uh, I don't know if it's came in yet, but pumpkin spice porter as well. I don't know if I have any. I stock. think. Yeah, I, ran I don't through. know. I th did you? I'm, yeah, I'm out. Okay, maybe not on the pumpkin spice porter, but I know unless Mike had that ordered some, in which case it would come in today. I don't know. Yeah, don't listen to me. Um, oh, I thought somebody commented, but no, it was just, uh, his and hers brewing has joined. Hello. Hello to everyone that's watching. We really appreciate you watching. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see what, what kits we have back here. I yeah. just pulled some. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, mm. should we start? Let's, let's do the four and then we'll, we have an Imperial Pale Ale, which is what we're drinking. And we'll unbox that at the end. Let's so if you want to we'll see us. Unboxing Imperial Pale Ales. Imperial Pale Ale. Stick around to the end. Um, let's see. Boozy Scientist says, Zombie Fest is awesome. I still have a few left from my brew last year. 
Nice. Yeah, it was. It's been a huge seller. And um, this weekend, um, I worked the store. My husband and I actually worked the store. We we were here, and, and it was every single brewer that came in. That was a, a beer brewer. Um, they were making an Oktoberfest of some sort. Yeah. Whether it was whole all grain, or they were doing an extract. I mean, it's it was a time. all. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, and the one guy came in and he was like, I need a 55-pound bag of, it was, uh, what was it? Was it Pilsner? Grain, I think it was Pilsner. And I looked at him and, and he told me, like, two other, like, specialty grains. I go, you're doing an Oktoberfest. And he was like, yeah. I don't know how much he was doing if you need 55 pounds. Yeah, that's a, um, that's a lot. Yeah, that was no joke. <laughs> I was like, I got you. I got He's, you. It's like, everyone else, you don't got to brew your Oktoberfest. This guy's got you covered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was more than um, five gallons for sure. So let's start with the peanut butter porter just because it's closest. And yummy. You know um, how I feel about porters. So peanut butter porter, it's forty four ninety nine, uh, five percent. Um, it's gonna be peanut butter, chocolate, and coffee flavors. If you can tell me something better than peanut butter, chocolate, and coffee. Maybe wine, if they had wine here. <laughs> Peanut butter, chocolate, coffee, and the three prong the gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one. And but, this one is a really dark beer. I mean, super, super dark in color, but I don't think 5% is going to be ridiculous. Like, 5% is less than this one. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not ridiculous, like, 8.7 or anything. No, no, no. Huh? To be clear, I'm not... To anyone that's watching that, like, hasn't watched or doesn't get my style of humor or whatever, I'm not knocking 8.7% beers. Like, I'm here for it. I just have to work this afternoon. <laughs> so do I. In fact, I have to go meet up with some construction dudes at the other warehouse. Oh, yeah. All right. Chocolate milk stout. Um, are you a milk stout person? Be honest. Really. Your face isn't saying, because no. I'm not either. Um... No. Although, I love, like, a milkshake IPA. I think it's a similar no, type of... Yeah, but so why? Well, maybe because... Maybe I just need to drink more of them. Maybe. But, you know... I've only had one. Do you feel like... I, this is how, what I feel like. I feel like there are so many kinds of beers. I mean, we could sit here and, and, and swear... We could be, like, Forrest Gump. We could start... <laughs> You know, instead of sh shrimp kebabs, we'd be talking about all the different kinds of beers, and it would just be an hour later and we wouldn't be done. Yeah, because, like, you, it's kind of funny, there's a chart near the bathrooms, it's like, here are the n types of beers, and then it's like, and these, and also, a, and I don't know, like, the graph designer that made that chart, I'm just like, poor you. They I were tired. They were just tired. Yeah. I'm sure they had more that they wanted to put on there, like, they're like, that's good, that's enough. Because it's it's exa it it you can't you can't name them all. So I look at this and I think I probably like it. Chocolate milk stout. I I probably would. Yeah, you probably just haven't drank enough. I've only had one. But you know what? I'm one person. Mhm. Mm and y you know, just we're creatures of habit. So right. I have I have these dark beers I like. I have these I IPA beers I like. I have these lighter beers I like, and. To add more one, more, one more in. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a hard. <laughs> you're like, you're like, I think I may have talked about this before, but you're like Jed getting uh, cookies and cream when you go to yeah. ice cream shop with a, with a bunch of stuff. You get what you know you're gonna like. So <laughs> I do think. I mean, I love the it's milkshake for, IPA. It's four and a half to five point two percent low, low IBUs, twenty four. See, and that, that's really, I mean, I'm enjoying this. It's a great refresh. It's a million degrees, so I'm cool with this. It's always a million degrees. But, um, I just, it's not my go-to. But I bet you there are other people who would totally disagree with me and say, I'm totally a milk stout kind of person. And I'm a stout and porter person. Right. Speaking of which, that's a perfect segue into coffee porter, which is something mm. Paula would be all about. Totally. Um, so coffee porter, I mean coffee porter. That's yes, and I just had one um, that was made by one of our local breweries um, in downtown Sandusky, and honestly, I took a drink of it, and like my husband chose to get an IPA. It was the same brewery. He did an IPA. It was fantastic. It's great. That's his his lane, and I got this, and I was like, I think this could be my breakfast choice. Yeah, like I could 
have this for breakfast and he's okay. looking at me and I go try it just try Chocolate it porter. because not to mention and I don't know if you're like I am but I think that glassware matters like everything like how you give me food is almost as important as what food you give maybe me. maybe that can be like my next level right is I can become a glassware like I can learn about glassware and get that totally you could <laughs> but they gave me this beautiful stemmed glass mm -hmm. with this Beautiful dark beer in it. I bet and it was like just so the right foamy look on the top, and I was like in heaven. Yeah, that's how I feel about when I make my coffee every day. It has just like that right. Well, it's coffee porter. Right? Yes, yes. And I think you know, like when you when you pick up a glass and you you feel how it like lands on your lip, mm -hmm. like how it feels. You were talking about this. It makes a difference in how it tastes. Does beer, anyone beer lovers. Are you Does with anyone me? agree? I mean, granted, I'd probably drink wine out of a shoe, but <laughs> it matters. It does. And when they, did, he just gave me this beautiful beer, and it was beautiful, so I had more than one just because I was appreciative. Heck yeah. Thing. I like it. This one um doesn't come, oh wait, no, I think the chocolate milk one can't, comes with labels. This one doesn't come with labels. Um. But the chocolate milk labels are really does. cute, actually. Are they cute? Let's yeah, see. Yeah, they're like cow. They're cows. Aww. Yeah, for chocolate. I don't know about you, but I think cows are super cute. They are. Oh, I'm one of those annoying people driving down the road, I'm like, cow! You would love, do you do that? You would love where I grew up because the way that I would tell people how to get to my house, this is no joke. I'd be like, when you see the sign for Harper's Herefords, which are like the brown and white cows. Okay. That's where you turn. Like, I'd be like, turn at the, the cows. And they'd always have their little baby calves. Oh, it was cute. seriously so cute. Mm. My gosh, there's a lot of stuff Are in they there. at the very bottom? I don't know. Oh, right oh. Here. Look at you. Oh, those are cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cow in it's a, like a... It's like a character cow. It's like a cow in a suit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> This is full of cocoa nibs. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just throwing it. You can throw things if you want to, but this is going to be the depth of flavor. I know we're not unboxing this, box this is one. This heavy, too. But crushed Kara brown, cocoa nibs, chocolate barley malt. There's a lot in there. If you're a fan of unboxings, um, I'm throwing up unboxings on the YouTube channel. So Homebrew Ohio, head to our YouTube channel. You can see all the different unboxings of the Brewer's Best kits. And the plan is to put one up for every single kit that we have. So they'll slowly go up. Um, it's been slowly, you've been knocking them out. You know, I've been trying. I'm impressed. And this is dark, this is, this is, I know I made it like wrinkled my nose on the milk stout, but what? this kit is impressive. What is that one again? Um, I'm so not this sure. one yeah, is the chocolate, chocolate milk stout, stout that has the the cocoa nibs and and the cool graphics for your label and it, what what do you think? And that chocolate like milk fourteen too. pounds? I don't know. Heavy. Yeah. It's almost as heavy as that slice of cake that yeah. we were talking about earlier. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strawberry cake. Uh, okay. All right. Um. Okay. New England IPA. Mmm. Okay. These are. Do you drink New England? Nope. Still have never done it. And you keep saying that I need to. Oh, you do. And I keep just ignoring you. you. Ignore me. I keep ignore I, all right. All right. You know what? It's going to be a goal. Mm -hmm. I like them. Yeah. You're saying that they um, are fruity. They like yeah. orange juice beers. Uh, forty nine ninety nine for this kit. Uh, the notes about this it says juicy and tropical. Mm -hmm. They use Eldorado and lemon drop hops. Now, when I went and brewed with um, Bad New Brews in Montana, uh, they used lemon drop hops, and that was my first experience of, like, like having hops and smelling them, all the different ones or whatever, and I remember really loving the aroma of the lemon drop because it's so citrusy. So you like lemon? Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's funny because if you would have talked to me in my 30s or even my 40s, I didn't like lemon. I liked lime. Mm-hmm. I drank so many beers with lime. But I, lemon wasn't my favorite, but I can tell you in this next uh, decade of mine, I'm a huge fan of lemon. Lemon cake, lemon bars, mm -hmm. lemon. So I don't think it's my thing. first 
I don't think it's like my first go-to flavor for sure, but I don't dislike it. I don't know. I mean, a lemon raspberry um, homemade cake. It was layered. Oh. And it had like that kind of glaze that like almost like has a I know what hard you mean. film over the top of the glaze, that, for lack of better words. And it was incredible. I, I think there's Full like zest a, and I think there's like a lemon raspberry cheesecake. Lemon and raspberry should be married. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good pairing. Lemonade. I love, like, lemonade's one of those things where I don't Why drink it. I don't want to be too sweet, though. I'm always afraid. That's like, true. I'm, I'm always, I'm like, people like, oh, do you buy lemonade? And I'm like, I do, but I'm not sure how it works. You don't want it to be too sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it to be, like, that crystallized. Yeah. My friend, I had a friend back in college. She literally, like, her goal was to try lemonades at every single place that she went to, and she would, like, give them ratings and stuff. It was really cute. Tom does that with tiramisu. Shut up. Swear to God. The reason that I said it like that is because Jed freaking loves tiramisu. Tom <laughs> rates people's tiramisu. Jed, <laughs> this is what Jed says about tiramisu. He says, I still don't know what it is, but I love it. I made some. Oh gosh, I'm sure that he would love your tiramisu. Yeah, during quarantine, um, I went out to our local little import store, got the ladyfinger, soaked cool. them in the... Coffee espresso mm -hmm. and did the whole thing. Man, yeah. we should be a we should be like a food show, like food and drink, food and drink. Cause you know it goes one they go hand in hand. It really does. And the last um last week we had a bunch of people interested in our Shira's kit after we had talked about it. Um, and one of the things that I think really gets people excited is talking about drink and food together like you because said. Because you don't just drink in isolation and you don't just eat in isolation. No. Nope. So when you know that something pairs well with your palate, it works. Some, some or something. So if I have a tendency to not like beers that utilize lactose to retain the sweetness, especially when it's significant. Yeah. So but there's so many lactose intolerant people or people who don't find lactose to be what they're desiring. Right. Yeah, so it's just a preference mm -hmm. thing because some yeah, people really totally. like it. Well, and I, my Nick, my oldest son, loves beer. Imagine that. And um, he's lactose intolerant. So, oh, like, yeah. I will, oh, he's a hot mess. <laughs> we stay away from it. The, the one half of the hot mess calls another person a hot mess. You know, it's yeah, bad. Isn't that a problem? But, like, I know that he would love the mouthfeel of those, but his body would not. But he's just like, no. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah. All right, should we talk about the what uh, we're drinking? Imperial yes. Ale. Yes. Imperial Pale Ale. Uh, uh, so no. this guy is actually really heavy, too. This one too. is like, up to 8.2%. This is heavier than the... Um, the milkshake. Yeah. Chocolate milkshake is stacked. This is probably one of our heaviest kits, and I'm not lying. Yeah, but... You, well, it, in order to get to an 8.2%... You gotta have your you, you, Listen to her. Is she amazing? <laughs> This is someone who came to us and was like, yeah. I run on purpose. I climb things that that have no reason to get to the top of and it's pretty. And I don't drink. I still do all of those things. The only thing that's changed is the Yeah, drink! <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will say that I, d I do get beer sadness if I don't get to drink at least once a week. You know we need a t-shirt that says, don't get beer sadness. That was such a missed opportunity. And we just ordered. Okay, so, oh, we just ordered. I'm going to dumb this story down because Paula is going to. All right, go ahead. We just ordered a bunch of t-shirts. That's all you need And to sweatshirts know. and hoodies. It was a little bit of a headache, but we finally got there. So and please. our bar beer is coming in next week. So we're yes. going to have the coolest. You wait till you see our glasses. You're going to wish you were us. I'm. <laughs> that was so aggressive. <laughs> I'm so excited about Bauer, though. Uh, I am, too. I'm, I'm excited, too. Not <laughs> as excited as I am. Maybe I'm not as excited because I am me, so I won't wish that I'm me. You're like, you're going to wish that you're us. I think there are a lot of people in the world who wish they were drinking right freaking now. I would agree with that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Halfway through, ladies, <laughs> ladies, gents, and non-binary folk. <laughs> All right, so let's open our Imperial Pale Ale, and 
let's see. This one is fifty three ninety nine, but so it's a little bit more expensive. But what's the reason for that? Um, eight percent. So very happy is what the description said, which I found super interesting because there's actually not. A oh my lot gosh, of this pops. is hysterical. It says. Perfected on the West Coast, and we are proud to create an extract version of this beer style for the home brewer. This beer is very big, very happy, and some, somewhat arrogant. <laughs> I love that! Um, use your home brewing skills to make the most of this recipe. But the difficulty is easy. So I love an easy arrogant. Yeah. I feel like this beer is like the, the high school jock walking around thinking that he's all that, you know, he's on the football team. And you're like, yeah, but you're still ready to use No. <laughs> 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 all right. So the first uh, thing have, in this we kit. Have a... Oh, so he said, uh, oh, the, talking about the lactose. He's like, I'm not intolerant. It's just the flavor. It doesn't move me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, the mouthfeel. Either that's you like fair. it or you don't. If you don't like it, you don't. I think the best piece of advice that I got, well, one of the many bits of wisdom that I've got from this wonderful woman, uh -oh. is um, I was drinking a wine and I was like, I said that it tasted like something, and I looked to you to see if that's what it was supposed to taste like. And you're like, I mean, yeah, if that's what it tastes like to you, then that's what it tastes like. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you're allowed to have your, <laughs> and that's a, don't take yourself too seriously. And we don't. I get people all the time who come in the store and they say to me things like, well, I'm like, what do you, what kind of you like, to, you know, what kind of wine do you like? And they go, uh, and they're apologetic. Uh-huh. And I, and, and usually it's the sweet wine drinkers. Yeah. Because the bold red wine drinkers, we're not sorry. So I say to them, a good wine. Is a wine is that you like. Whatever wine you think is good. And same for beer. Absolutely. Heck yeah. And it tastes, however it tastes to you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Don't be sorry for I'm it. I'm the boss your taste buds. Um, did you, were you, uh, go, diving into your instructions as you love to do? and we have three half editions on this baby. Oh, really? Yeah. I, it did say something about Whirlpool, right? Well, it's Columbus, Columbus Cascade during brew day. All right, wait. Let's hold off on the malt because the hops are interesting to me now. Mm-hmm. So we've got, yeah, Columbus, Columbus, and Cascade. Yeah. But that's all the hops that are in here, right? Yeah. yeah, so you have, you only have three ounces of hops. So, okay, this is something I'm you confused about. That. Someone out there, if you know the reason for this. And your IBUs are 65 to 69. Yep. So, this is what I'm thinking. Tell me. When I was talking to Zach, he said that, he said that the IBUs are dependent on the the alcohol level in the beer. So if you have a higher alcohol level, then like it's a ratio, right? It's not like I'm really bad at explaining this, but basically he was saying that the IBUs. Some people think, oh, if it has a bunch of hops, then it'll have a high IBU, but that's not necessarily true because if it has a high alcohol ABV, then it it equals out basically. But that doesn't make sense to me because this beer is eight percent. So, do you think it's because the malt is all lighter malt? Because it's, the malt is going to be... It is all be, light. So the malt's going to be... Um, you have 6.6 6 pounds of light LME and yep. 3 pounds of light DME. And then you add 3 ounces of hops, ending up with all, well, 7.8 to 8.27% ABV. But yet your IBUs are 65 or 69. Which is fairly high. So it allows those hops just to like present To themselves. come out and be arrogant. <laughs> be yourself. Be arrogant. I love the arrogant thing. I was really, really surprised by that. I expected you to have more of those in your hands. I definitely did as well. And I All was right. like, I was like, what's going on here? But that's cool. And that's like a... Pretty neat how like the science of all that works too, right? And Zach is so the science guy. He really is, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched the episode where Zach and I brewed together, um, go on our IG IGTV page and um, go a couple episodes back. It was a really fun 
educational day, and he he brought some of his stuff. For, did did you end up watching my? I back watched at all? like all but the last five minutes because okay. I had to leave for work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I didn't <laughs> I didn't know if you actually watched it back, but he's such a nice guy. He is. I, I adore um, him. Yeah. So let's see. We have carapils in here too. So four ounces of carapils, and which is fairly light. Yeah. And oh, and Kara Brown and Crush Biscuit Malt. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but Biscuit Malt is just like, it just makes me want to try it because I think of like, it just sounds good to me. It Wholesome. sounds appealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got, we've got a little bit of knowledge on the hops thing. So when you put the hops in during the boil, mm -hmm. that, th that, um, Longer boil, it'll be more bitter. So like if you keep, if you put it in right away. So this is this is later. So it we don't you don't have a half addition until thirty minutes into a sixty minute boil. So after thirty minutes, then another ten minutes, then another ten minutes. So, so it's maybe all it, at the end of the boil. So maybe, but it's kind of through like it's kind of throughout the two. So I mean, like I know it's yeah, but there's nothing initially, and you boil for thirty minutes before you even put one half addition in. Yeah. No. Add oh, and one pack. pack. And then you do 30 minutes. And then add one pack. Then 20, you do 20. Add, add, oh, it is very spaced yeah. out. You're right. I read it wrong. So it's like through. Yeah, yeah. come on, instructions person. <laughs> Any bigger than I can read. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. It all matters. Everything matters. Okay. I just in red. It just says. Oh, okay. As, yeah. for, as for priming. Yeah, there's nothing unusual here. So I can see why you can just make this and go. Yet, yeah, it's pretty beefy. And they got USO5, mm -hmm. crown cap, grain bag, priming sugar, all the good stuff if you're bottling. But, yeah. I don't know. I think that I really enjoy this, actually. You should put this in first, or you're never going to close it. You know what, Paula? I'm going to tell you a thing. Tell me a thing. I have uh, unboxed and reboxed about 40 to 50 of these kits, and they look flawless, so I don't need your sass. Oh, my sass! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she took my, my I, I did. opinion I did. there. Mm -hmm. See, it's like, it's when I'm in the heat of them, I'm just like not paying attention, that's what it is. I genuinely think I might have attention problems of some sort, but don't we all? No, we're good. Will it close? I don't, it, uh, <laughs> that's not how I would have put it back, but it's good. How would have you done it? Okay, well, this goes under because you would want it to be even. All right, while, while she's doing yeah, that's this. That's all, that's all, that's the only change I'm going to make. Um... I'm gonna talk about how I I just graduated to my level two of knowing things about beer. Oh, I didn't know there were levels. And yet, oh. <laughs> I didn't know how to use this. That's true. And I'm gonna be completely transparent. I always am, you know. I was yes. yes. I was trying to. <laughs> so, so she goes. She's trying to open this bottle, and I go, "It's not a screw top. You're gonna need a bottle opener." And I go, just grab my wine opener, because clearly she said, everyone she is... Said, she has, said, just grab that and use, use the top, top of it. <laughs> grab it and use the top. I'm not mechanical. I literally am the world's least mechanical person. I will tell anyone that. Okay. And I looked at it, and I literally touched it to the top of the bottom. And I, I wasn't even going to pretend... Did you think it was going to, like, jump out? No, but I could just not, for the life of me, figure out... There was a lot going on. There was a lot going <laughs> and on. And instead of like trying to figure it out and watch it, having her watch me struggle, <laughs> I just said, "How do you use this?" So I I grab it and I pop the top. She popped it off, and I said, "I saw her lip." <laughs> I did not to laugh. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to like have a little more kindness in my. In my whatever. Listen, it's okay to laugh at dumb people. It wasn't dumb. You just hadn't used. Clearly, you don't drive. I've, I've never used I this. I usually have one of these in my car. Okay, I, in my in the trunk of my car. Yeah. So who has a problem here? Okay. I don't have a problem. I can get my shit open. <laughs> I've never used one of these till today. Now I know how to do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. And then yeah. she's like trying to con visibly so conceal, open it. and then she's over there like. And, she, and, and then you go, wait, give it to me. I'm gonna try the second one. Like it was like, like, like. If I say you how to do it, you watch me, I demonstrate, you do it. I'm like, oh, we're back into best practices here. This is the teacher in you. I know. I'm like, all right, now we can always open any beverage but the, <laughs> the funniest part was I looked at her and I said, you know, I appreciate you trying to conceal your life, but I did want it. And, and I pulled out. And then she's like, oh, damn. I know, I know. My poker face was off. Uh, yeah, that was really funny. So anyways, um, code BTS15 for $15 off $100, all right? all the kids are going back to school. Which yeah. probably means parents are going to be a little less stressed with the whole childcare thing, but more stressed with the homework and the after school activities. I remember... Reason to drink. My mom had... There's five of us in my family, and I do not know how she did the homework thing. Because I remember the first three of us were, like, pretty self-sufficient, and then... My f the fourth sister, she just like really required a lot of attention for help on homework and things like that. Plus, my mom was trying to juggle everything else. Just crazy. Back to so, school. She doesn't. She, my mom doesn't drink though, so maybe that was the problem. Clearly, because I, I did and do. So <laughs> for good, my kids were like, and actually they would say to me things like, like mom, like they didn't tell me they did something, you know, like at school or they. Or they forgot that they had, like, I don't know, a science fair project due the next day, which happened. Maybe, like, <laughs> you're clearly not upset so no, by it. Like, Mom, do you want a drink? <laughs> like, what did you do? Were they real? Yeah, really? they would. They were they'd be like, do you want me to grab you a beer or something? And I'm like, what did you do? Wow. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. For lack of a better term, clever kids. Oh, they're brilliant. And they also know, though, like, they could get out of anything if they made me, made me laugh. And they were hilarious. I have a friend that, that um, her and her two brothers still live with their mom. And, like, they'll say something to their mom. And you can see that their mom's, like, actually visibly upset by what they said. And they're like, oh, mom, you know, I'm just joking. Like, yeah. And the mom's, like, laughing. But you can tell she's You're, like. I would say, I'm laughing, but I'm still mad at you. Yeah, poor Laura. Yeah. Moms, man. Tortured. Shout out to moms. And shout out to dads, too. Mm -hmm. Moms, dads, whoever you are. Grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a kit. And $15 off 100 bucks. $15 off 100 bucks. BTS 15. What a great discount code. I don't know. Here we go. Alright. Have a good one, guys. It's so hot. So hot.